you've been engaged since we last had you in. I know. Do you know what? I was literally just having a wee before and I thought, what are they going to talk to us about? I hope I don't repeat myself and everyone thinks I'm really boring. But then I was like, actually so much has changed. I'm engaged now and I have brown hair. I heard the draft last time. It was Blonde, cool. wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you honestly are just... I'm loving you more and more. <laughs> yeah, I was blonde. Babe, I'm how could you not remember that? <laughs> this is what women do, you know. <laughs> it was months ago. Women. It was m- months ago. And we're friends. She comes into the studio. She's like, you don't remember what hair colour I had when I, was, when I last seen you four months ago? What, what the fuck, Adam? What, why? why? Why can you not recall? Why exactly. don't you love me? What was my eyeshadow colour that day? Why? What, what, what colour top did I have on? Blonde or brown's a big difference though, Babs. Yeah, but like even when you were blonde, because I do remember it now, it oh, wasn't no. like bleach blonde, was it? Well, I didn't know. You might have to tell the front of me hair that because it's all snapped off. <laughs> honestly, I've got a mullet. <laughs> a fucking mullet underneath all these extensions. It's incredibly depressing. <sighs> I'd love to see you in a mullet. I, honestly, if I get drunk, I will show you me mullet. <laughs> it's so like business in the front and party in the back. <laughs> Sounds like such a euphemism. If I get drunk, I'll show you me mullet. <laughs> Just meant me hair mullet. <laughs> this part mullet. <laughs> um, tell us about the engagement. Oh, it was so lovely. Was it abroad? Yeah. Did I say it was abroad? It was in Dubai. And we'd had a really shit Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and I can say this because I've... I put it on my Instagram and I told her, can like the restaurant knows, he knows, it was just crap. We like sat in this really fa- like fancy restaurant in Lond- London for three hours without getting anything to eat. What? I know. And we'd pick the later sitting anyway, because I was like, oh, I bet you the first one's going to be chocker. And like, I get hangry, me. So I was like, let's Same. go, the- yeah. let's go the later one and it'll be like a bit more chill. And it was still manic when we got there. But honestly, three hours. And the worst thing was as well, we'd ordered tuna tartare and beef carpaccio. Both no cook, both no cook starters. That is another Geordie yeah. gem there. Both <laughs> no cook. No, Carpaccio. Ca- oh, Carpaccio as well, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking Geordie fullback from the 90s. <laughs> David Ginola and Beef Carpaccio. <laughs> oh. Oh, dream team. Um, yeah, so anyway, like, I just couldn't understand it. So in the end, I sort of said, like, fuck this, we're going to have to go. Like, I'm miserable, I'm starving, I want a Big Mac. And we did just that. <laughs> um, so it, we got cri- like crisps and everything on the way home. And we had a bit of a laugh, we made it stomach. But when we got to Dubai, like, went to this restaurant and there was, like, rose petals everywhere and, like, champagne. And Erkan, the sly old dog, and I didn't really think he had this in him, bless him. Because he's many things, but, like, a romantic is not one of them. Right. Uh, and he went, oh, it's because Valentine's Day was a real letdown. And I so fell for it, like hook, line and sinker. I was like, oh God, babe, this is so lovely. And we drank champagne and we ate calamari and like we had a bit of a kiss and it was super lovely. And then when the sun set, he said, she'll go and take a picture in front of that big building there. I think it's the Burj or something. Yeah. All the influencers do it. Felt like a bit of a knob. Um, <clears throat> but it was lovely in the end. So then we started walking and he started telling us how I was his best friend and how we'd been through loads together. And I went, are you fucking going to ask me to marry you? <laughs> and he went, Shut up, man, I've got a speech. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you fucking are, right? You can't you? do that no, to the I man. Don't. What do you, what are you doing? Even if you knew. I he, half he didn't know. He will have built that up. What do you mean you half didn't know? Well, I, I, like, I was like, e God, is he really? And then when he was like, shut up, I was like, you fucking are. And then he was like, oh, for God's sake. And just got on one night. <laughs> You've ruined this moment there, Vicky. He, do you know how much he will have built that up in his head for weeks and months? He oh. will have practiced with a bottle of fucking Vosine in the minute. Like, he'll be like, right, so I'll say it like, I'll say it like this. So, you, you're my best friend. You, I love you. No. I love you and you're my best friend. He will have done that for days and days and weeks on end. Oh. And he's prepared it in Don't his head. Don't make us feel bad. You, you should feel bad. Well, fuck now, if he's anything like me, it'll, won't, it'll only be his first one. He's got plenty more attempts. <laughs> <laughs> You've been engaged three times. This is my third time. Lucky fellows. Never married though? No, no. Okay. Um, all the whole try before you buy thing in it. Yes. I feel like getting engaged and like, this is my opinion on it. Many women might tell us, you know, you can always say no. It's just, it's just embarrassing, isn't it? 
Like to say no to the To say no. Like, I almost feel like, you know, when someone's gone to the trouble of getting a ring and they're fucking in front of you and everything, it's almost a bit like, oh, okay. There you go, where can. <laughs> <laughs> He's different, obviously. <laughs> You're a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be asked breaking his heart, so I'm going to spend the rest of my life with him. Oh, I really hope we do. Do you but, think you you, yeah. it, you do suit? Oh, he's so, honestly that's such a nice thing to say because I know I'm punching with him physically. Like he's so handsome, so handsome, and also just really kind in a way I'm not. In a kind in a way I'd love to be. In what way are you not kind? I try really hard to be kind. Yeah, and like wasn't when I was younger. And, like, uh-huh. always hate that I wasn't, yeah. you know? Like, got really upset that I wasn't a good person when I was younger. And I don't know how it happened, because I, I was brought up a nice person, you know? But I lost myself for a bit. So, like, I've always endeavoured, you know, since I had this, like, epiphany moment that I wanted to be better, that I want to be kind, and I want to be grateful, and I want to be all those lovely things I appreciate in others. But I have to work at it. Don't yeah. get us wrong. Some days it comes naturally. When you've had a good night's sleep, and you, you're not on your period, yeah. and you don't miss your mum, then it comes easy. But you know, there's times where I have to work. Erkan is naturally nice, kind, lovely, thoughtful, all these things without even trying. And he makes me want to be better. Wasn't that beautiful? <laughs> what a sop we couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you've picked the right ethnicity. I'll give you that as well. Are you the same? I'm Turkish, yeah. Oh, babe. Yeah. I knew I loved him. Half Turkish, half Welsh. The dream combo. Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Dragons everywhere. <laughs> Dragons and goats. <laughs> Dragons and halloumi all over the shop. <laughs> <laughs>